I'm Ilya Marchenko. I'm Janis Kuda. I'm Jesper De Jong. I'm Henry Laksan. I am Francisco Serundolo. And, and you are listening to the Game to Love podcast. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Game to Love tennis podcast stream. Uh, my apologies, I actually clicked the wrong uh, stream, so we should be on the right one here. Um, thank you all for joining me. We've got about seven people in here so far. My name is Covey, I'm in Vancouver, BC, and we're joining this match. Um, we're already a game and a half into it as Dominic Team is serving down one game to love, but we are on serve. And he's up love 30. Actually, make that 30-15 as Senego rips a forehand winner up the line. Emma saying hello again. Thank you guys so much. It was my mistake there. Kathy M in the, in the house. Hello, Kathy. Saying, hey, Emma. Great to have you here. Also, please do support the channel. Uh, PayPal.com slash PayPal me. Game to love. There's a link there. Uh, we got Milan saying hello, GTL, GTL. My girl Gobi is in the house here. If you haven't met Gobi, that's my puppy right here. She is adorable. You can get a better look right there. Hey, Gobs. Say hi to them. Say hi to the lovely people. Say hello. Aw. She put her hand on my, her paw on my arm. What do you need? Oh, you want puppy? She wants kisses. All right. So that's, uh, that's that. We got the puppy stuff out of the way, my little baby. All right. We've got a nice little rally going. It's 30 15. Backhand team, forehand Senego, backhand team. Backhand Senego, now forehand team up the middle, forehand Senego, and it's a winner. So Senego was down love 30, or sorry, 30 love in this game as uh, team is serving. And he's on the last two points to bring it back to level. Nice job, Italian. Kathy saying, hey, Gobi. Um, <laughs> we'll definitely pass on the message. Lamberto, hey, everyone, just checking in to say hi. Unfortunately, can't stay, but I hope... You all have a good stream, good night, and enjoy the match. Forza Lorenzo. Grazie. Thank you very much, Lamberto. Have a good one, buddy. Gary, GSL, just in uh, momentarily to give you a like. Hey, GTL guys and girls, hoping to return for Elena and Anna. Love to all. So there we have it. Thank you very much, Gary. Um, Gary, this is in your state, this this uh, match, both of these matches. I'm actually going to be calling the Rabakina uh, Kalinskaya match after this as well. So, um, yeah, thank you for checking in, Gary. Really appreciate it. Um, and we got some good nights for Lamberto from Emma. And then Kathy saying, yes, it's feeding night for the get-go, so I will be in and out too. Sounds good. It's always great to have you whenever you can join us. Um, yeah, so here we go. Team, um, there we go. He takes uh, the point when it was 30 all. So he was up 30 love, and then he gave up a couple points 30 all, and then he just won. So now game point for the Austrian. And yeah, Dominic team. Well, well done. Didn't want to get under the gun here. He's had a rough start to the year. He's lost uh, all but one match this year, and he does take this game. Nice hold. Uh, with a forehand winner there. So, yeah, um, his goal last year, Dominic Team, was to get back into the top 100, a goal that he did accomplish. However, he's actually found his way out of it again. Unfortunately, uh, he's number 106 in the world. Um, just a little... Uh, uh, Senego's 59 in the world. Senego has been uh, pretty good this year. Let's just take a look at his stats. Uh, let's see... Lost in the first round, Indian Wells. Made it to the one, two, three, third round in Dubai, losing to Zverev after taking, impressively taking out Huesler and uh, Felix Oje Aliasim, FAA. Also lost to Doha, uh, an epic against Murray. Uh, also, again, lost to uh, Felix in Rotterdam. So he's had pretty tough competition uh, to start the year. He's already lost to Sinner, uh, obviously way higher ranked. FAA. He's won and lost to. He's he lost to Murray, um, and then he's lost to Zverev and Kubler. So, 
He's number 59 in the world. Um, I'd say he's probably playing hit to his ranking. Um, Max in the house saying, hey, Covey and everyone. Welcome, Max. Great to have you in the house. Um, Kathy saying, I'm currently watching Shelton Paul doubles. Oh, let us know how that's going. Max saying, I hope team can win this match. Nice backhand by team, by the way, here. And forehand, inside out, Sanego, backhand team. Forehand, Sanego, backhand team. Off the tape and lands on his side. So it's 15 all on the Sanego serve. Gets back to level. Um, Kath, or no, Kathy. Emma, Emma saying, Covey doing the double shift. Yes. Uh, yeah, don't worry. Uh, Landon Low saying, what happened with Rebecca in a stream? I, I accidentally clicked the wrong stream. So um, it's going to be after this. Uh, th that match, I'm going to be calling it. It's also on this on the same court after this match. So, so don't worry. Stay tuned and we'll have it on there. Um, Emma saying, hi, Kathy and Max. Sorry to miss you before. <laughs> Everyone's so polite here. Love it. Uh, he went to the Rebecca stream by accident landing instead of Team Senego. Yes, I did. And, oh, man. I have this thing where I don't like to make the same mistake twice. And I made that mistake last week. And I don't know what is going on with my head lately. But, um, yeah. So, anyways, we're live here. We're good. Um, but I do have to contact um, Ben and JG and ask them to re-add um, that stream for me. So, yeah. Okay, Sanego is up 40-15 now. So double game point for the Italian as he walks over to his little area, wipe his towel down. Let's see here. Okay, all right. So Sonego now serving for the game. First serve tosses up. His first serve is good. Blackhand block return. Now drop shot Sonego. Team gets to it. And it's a nice little drop pass winner. Uh, pass Sonego who had made his way to the net. Really nice angle there from team. Nice little point. Well done, Dominico. And let's see here at WhatsApp form. Okay, Dominic team here ready to receive. Still game point for Senego. 40 30. First serve is into the net. Here comes the second serve. By the way, yes, please do let me know what you think in terms of predictions for the match. Um, just give me one sec. I'll hit the button. So uh, due to my error at the beginning, forgot to hit that at the beginning, but nice little rally going inside. Uh, no, it's a cross court forehand. I should say from team up the line, Senego forehand back uh, up the line on the backhand from team. Now team goes up the line on the forehand, makes his way and does a nice little drop shot out of, out of the air. Uh, instead of doing the swinging volley, really nice point there. And we are at deuce. Let's get your predictions for the match right after this. So we have Emma saying Senego in two sets. Also asking where I'm from. I'm from Vancouver, BC, Canada. Uh, yes, West Coast. Um, I was actually in the same exact time zone as Indian Wells was. Uh, Max saying I thought team would have won that match versus Manorino for a tight three set at Indian Wells. Yeah, that was a really tough match. I watched that and the tie break in the third set. It was really close. Um, I actually thought um, Manorino deserved that one. Um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and say... You know what? I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to go ahead and say team is going to... You know what? I don't think he's actually going to win. I don't. I, I, I want to kind of go for him and be like nice, but I'm going to go ahead and say Senego's going to take it in three, unfortunately, um, for team fans, because I do want team to do well, and I don't not want Senego to do well. Okay, Senego, by the way, holds after making his way to the net and forcing an error on the forehand side from Dominic team. Um... 
And we got Milan saying, I'm hoping for team in straight sets. Emma saying, oh, Canada's a beautiful country. UK here. Ah, okay. I think I recall that. Thank you for joining me all the way from the UK. Uh, ba uh, based on team's recent results, says Max, I think Senego would win this match in two sets. Disappointing about Radu Kanu yesterday. It, it was and it wasn't. I was actually going for Bianca because, you know, my Canadian compatriot. Um, I don't always, always go. If, if you watch my, uh, I do a lot of Alcaraz streams and he's my favorite player. So I was rooting for him against Felix Oje Ali Asim last week uh, in Indian Wells. So I don't always go for my fellow country person. However, I was going for Bianca. I want her to get back to her glory ways. Um, but yes, I could see for a uh, Brit named Emma that could have been disappointing for sure. Uh, but I also hope that she picks it up and gets back to her winning ways as well. Um, yeah. So, by the way, Senego with a nice hold. I think we should give him a button, huh? What do you say? Let's give him a button. He's got a real short button, this guy. There we have it. By the way, thank you to everyone who's given us a like so far. And please do give us a subscribe if you're new. We have merch as well, as you can see by the shirt above my head. Uh, you can check in the description box below on ways to order T-shirts, uh, hoodies, um, cell phone covers. Uh, I think there's some mugs in there as well. So there's lots of different stuff for people who are looking for some GTL swag. All right. So the orange towel gets put in its place from Dominic team. He chooses... One, two, which balls he is going to play with and gets his way up to the line. He is serving on serve one, two here in the first set. Okay. First serve from team in his second service game is good. Block back return team with an inside out forehand makes his way to the net overhead smash. And he hits that nicely. Sonego cannot get to it. 15 love for Dominic team. Okay, we got Sean also from England saying how much of team struggles are to do with, with not being the same physically with the wrist and how much do with confidence do you think? For, based on my research, he has had a tough time psychologically more so than physically, and, but they're connected. So I read this article um, and it basically said Dominic team... Um, He's scared to go all out on his forehand because of the injury. So, so he's, from what I understand, he's kind of like mentally, he's scared to test out and to really give it his all for fear of re-injuring that same uh, wrist in injury. So it seems like he can physically do it, but mentally there's a block, a barrier. That's what I understand. Um, from reading a couple of articles on him recently, because I was curious too. I was kind of wondering if there was any sort of expanded answers to that question. So that's what I understand. Um, it's it's more it's more of a mental issue that's not allowing him to let loose physically to completely hit it without fear. He's uh, apparently the part of his mind where he still kind of feels like, oh, if I go all out, I'm going to re-injure it and hurt myself again. So hopefully that doesn't happen and hopefully he does find his way back. Um, but that's what I understand. Um, yeah. Okay. Second serve is good at 40 love looking for his first game to love. And he gets his first game to love because Senego's forehand on the rally ball goes long. So first game to love to Dominic team. <laughs> Emma saying, Emma did better than I thought, was expecting two sets for BB. Yeah, it was a good match. I, I watched uh, I watched the third set. I also watched, um, there was a monster 20-minute game in the second set in which Radu Kanu broke. I think it was like eight deuces, and she had like five break points. Finally ended up breaking and bring, brings it back to level. And then, uh, and then Bianca got a break, I think it was at fourth. 4-2 or something to, for 4-2 for, for and then ended up holding on um, for the routine victory in the end. But uh, yeah, it was pretty pretty interesting match there. Got a, uh, got a video here of Senego's coaches. 
they don't look too enthused yet. The match is just starting. It's it's 15 love for their uh, their young charge. He's not that young. He's 20, I believe. What is it? He's 20. I think Dominic is 29, I believe. And Senego is 27. Yeah. So just a couple of years apart. Nice forehand from Senego. Makes his way to the net. Team with a return on the forehand. And then Senego puts away a forehand volley into the open space. 30 love. Hello, hello, Suwon Lim. Back in the house. Great to have you, Suwon. Hi, Covey. Hi, everyone. Also, we got Gene. The All-Stars are making their way in. Emma saying hello to Suwon. Um, I hope Iga can recover soon from her rib injury, says Max. Yeah, definitely. Don't want her out too long. The world number one. Um, Sean saying, interesting, Covey. Thanks for the answer. You're very welcome. Just trying to help you as much as I can, folks. Trying to paint the greatest picture that we can here. Uh, Senego here, 30 love. First serve is good. Forehand return up the line it goes into the high part of the net. 40 love. So Senego is trying to get his first game to love right after Dominic Team served up one just before this. ASWL and Milan says Gene. Max saying hi to Gene. And my team is 29. God, that sucks. Doesn't have much time left. Yeah, I'm wondering. I just really, I feel for the guy. I don't want him to. To have, um, and that is a game to love, by the way. The return goes long as uh, the attempted serve and volley goes up. Yeah, he's 29 years old, um, is Dominic Team, born in 93. So he will turn 30 this year. Um, by the way, let's hit this button. And Suwon, Covey, are you also doing the Reba match? Yes, I am. Uh, I am going to do that match, although I have to contact Ben because I, I messed up and I hit the wrong stream like I did last. I've never done it before, and then I've made the same mistake twice, and making the same mistake twice is my pet peeve to myself. I never like to do that, um, especially when these guys are asleep. Well, they're maybe not asleep right now, but, you know, it's like 1.30 a.m. there. I don't have much confidence in team whatsoever, says Gene. All right, I'm going to, by the way, team did have a game, so I didn't give him his button, and he did deserve it. So I'm going to retroactively give him his button here. He knows what to do. It's Dominic Team. It's Dominic Team. If you know what I mean. It's Dominic Team. If you know what I mean, scooby doo ba 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 doo He knows what to do. scooby doo ba 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 dee It's Dominic Team. Uh, yeah, it's Dominic Team. scooby doo ba 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 dee Uh, we're on serve here. I'm just quickly sending this message to, to the guys. Okay, here we go. Sorry, just finishing this message. But nice return from Senego, inside out forehand team. Now he makes it way to the net and a beautiful uh, drop volley on the right on the forehand side there, team to take the first point. Fifteen love. Gosh, I feel so bad. Keep, uh, anyways, all right, here we go. Serve is good. Backhand return is also good. It was a floater. Now we got a forehand team. Backhand Senego. Forehand team to the forehand of Senego. He chips that back. Team makes way to the net. Does a little drop shot. Senego gets to it. And he drops. And then team gets to that. Puts it up the line. And Senego with a circus shot tries to do a little kind of squash flippy thing. Uh, but it goes long. Nice point, though. 30 love team. And a uh, good start to the game for Dominic. Yeah, so he goes drop shot up the line. Senego goes cross-court drop shot. And team gets to it. He actually volleys that before it hits the ground. And then that little behind-the-back no-look squash shot. It wasn't a tweener, but it was like a 
Yeah. His team again. 30 love for serve is a good one. Forehand return into the net. 40 love. So um, the last service game for team was a game to love. The last service game for Senego was a game to love. And now team is threatening a third straight game to love between the two players. Second straight for himself. We'll get into the kits here as well in just one second. Um, uh, good serve out wide. Block back return. Now team makes his way to the net. Senego tries to pass some cross court, but it is wide. Game to love once again for Dominic team. Doobity dop bop ba dee. <laughs> And so on, regarding my answer of, am I doing the Reba match? Reba, uh, Rebecca, yes. And he says, awesome. Um, let's see here. Gene saying his button is better than his tennis at the moment. Emma saying, uh, love this button. That was a good one, Gene. So on laughing, Emma laughing. Uh, team button been a while. Yeah, for sure. That's a hard. <laughs> Milan, <laughs> that's harsh, Gene, but can't say you're wrong. That's funny. Uh, first time I've heard it, Sue. Um, okay, Senego, thir three all here. First serve is a fault. Here's the second serve is good. Backhand return team to the forehand of Senego. Backhand team, this is a chopper. And now, oh, Senego tried to do a little kind of drop. I don't know if it was a drop or if he was trying to like fake the drop and push it. But either way, it went into the net and it's love 15. Booty da ba ba dee. Now it's love 15. See what I did there? Max, I think it was the first time that I saw the team button. Thank you, Cubby, for playing it. You're welcome. Um, he has oh, he has a better button than Medi. Uh, did you guys see Kostuk didn't shake hands with the Russian again? I did see that. I didn't watch the match, but I saw it on the Twitter feed. Uh, Kostuk again being a drama queen towards a Russian. A, yeah. Um, shit. Um, okay. Oh, so, sorry, said the wrong. I was just uh, reading something there. Now we got a forehand from team, forehand Senego, forehand team, and now it's a backhand Senego for the winner. Uh, um, okay, here we go, here we go. And... Yeah, she is being a, a drama queen a little bit. I'm not um, not sure what she expects. I get it. I get that. Like, I'm not in the position where Kostyuk is, where she actually might have family that's being literally displaced from their homes, their home cities, uh, you know, for, for reasons of war, which is terrible. So I don't know that side of it. Um, I do know that the Russians don't have any say in the matter. And I think it's also... I think a lot of people want the Russians to come out and denounce it. But, I mean, you don't know, like, say, if what if, like, Medvedev comes out and goes against the war? What about his family that's in Russia, for example? Are they going to be safe and things like that? So it's really complicated. I just hope that there's respect. And I think it shows respect if you can do a handshake afterwards. By the way, Senego up 40-15 here. Um, and, uh Yeah. So let's just hope in the end, hopefully she kind of changes her ways and hopefully there's acceptance of the situation from both sides. That's all I can say. Um, but again, I don't really know. It's hard for me to say when I've never actually been a part of like a war-torn situation. It's very, very difficult. Uh, here we go. Senego, 40-15, second serve is good. Backhand return is deep forehand Senego, forehand team, forehand Senego is a high and long one. So it is now 40-30, still game point. Um, <laughs> Russians can be punished for speaking out against it. That's why they don't. Yeah, that's what I'm, that's what I understand as well. Or that's at least what I kind of think. Uh, and we're having Emma saying Rublev was brave at Dubai last year. Rublev, uh, Rublev too, saying um, that's why they don't. Yeah, no, I hear you guys. 
Um, and Senego serve plus one. It's a winner, four, three, and he holds. And we are just continuing on serve. I don't even think we've had a break point. Nope, not for either player yet. Little love for Senego. Okay, so change over here. While we do the changeover, let me run through some scores. So on the men's side earlier today, we had Lehechka takes out Korea straight sets. Kovacevic of the States take out uh, Munar of Spain, two sets to one. Uh, Quinton Halis takes out Martinez in straight sets. Uh, Christian Guerin takes out Marcus Giron in three sets. Manorino over Shang. Uh, of China in three sets. Molchan over Thompson, two sets to one. Carbias Baena, uh, he won after Zapata Marias retired. We had Eubanks defeating Kudla, straight sets in an All-American matchup. Another American, Mackenzie McDonald takes out Galan. So that's a straight sets win there. We had Japan's Watanuki takes out Benoit pa uh, Pair, two, set, uh, two sets to love. And we have Gasquet, two sets to one over O'Connell. Um, we also have uh, Diego Montero of Brazil's facing Kubler right now, and he is up one set, and they're 6 6 in the tie break. So Montero is just two points away from the match there. I'll give you an update on that in a, uh, when that ends. We have uh, Francis Barrera versus Safiulin of Russia, and Barrera is up one set to love, and they're on serve in the second set. Echeverry up 5 to 1 over Kotov. Uh, that's first set there so he's uh, just one game away from a set and then Senego team we're on serve so there we have it folks um let's see here team first serve to kick off game number eight is long here comes a second serve Kathy saying med uh Rublev and med are most outspoken always speaking of peace all over the world no Russian uh Russian freedom of speech their families and friends could take a hit if they speak out yeah, it's very, very scary. I mean, imagine, um, imagine that, <laughs> that being the case, you have to be careful what you say. And then now everyone's pressuring you to denounce this. And then you're like, well, I don't know if I can do that. Team, by the way, wins the first point. Kathy saying, I'm sure not much different in Belarus either. Yeah, I would, I would assume the same. Gene saying team's average forehand speed, 76 miles per hour. 76 miles per hour compared to 80 when he won Indian Wells. That was in 2019. And yeah, that's one of the big things that has been going on with him is his, um, his forehand speed has definitely been affected. And again, a lot of people or some people are saying it's a psychological thing. He's scared to, to really let loose and go for it. Nice backhand slice team. Senego inside out forehand, another backhand slice team, another, uh, forehand this time up the line and then a chop back return goes long so it's 15 all nice point there construction for Senego going inside out then up the line and then making his way to the net so a little bit of variety Max saying I don't see anyone beating Carlos at Miami in my opinion I mean uh, it's it's definitely possible I'm excited to see how he does the, the courts apparently are 20 percent faster than than last year, someone was saying. I you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna double. I saw a tweet. Um, nice serve out wide, and then the in, uh, inside out forehand winner from the middle. Um, Gene saying in 29th. Yeah, there you go. Um, so uh, yeah, b before I get to that, Max, I. Um, oh wait, hold on. Um, yeah, so I think that. Carlos, I'm excited to see how he plays on the speed of the courts. But, I mean, I'm not really worried about it. I think he's going to be good on all the surfaces in the end. Um, team first serve at 30-15 goes wide. Emma, I guess my favorite ATP, ATP player, Max, I agree with you. He's in brilliant form. Yeah, he really is. All right. Nice serve to the backhand of Senego. Returns at cross court. Now we got team... Uh, goes backhand. Senego made his way to the net and put a forehand into the open space. Nicely done. Um, there we go. Carlos back at number one, says Emma. Yep. Yep. Uh, he actually, in, unless he wins this tournament, he will, he will relinquish it. So he has to win this entire tournament. Because he won it last year, he would drop all of his points. So 
I'm not sure it's all mental, to be honest, says Gene. Uh, maybe the wrist surgery was so bad that it's limiting him physically, too, in your opinion, uh, says Gene. Emma, Djokovic is right behind him, though. I think he has to. Yes, you're right. He does. All right. Nice little rally. Now we got a short ball and team with an overhead, and he smashes that into the open side. Tenego chased it down but didn't get a racket on it. Game point for team to stay on serve here. We got Marlene Bull saying Kostiuk is Beckel. I'm um, not sure what you mean there, but um, she's definitely making some headwaves for her um, inability to to give handshakes to the Russians. It's especially a bummer when she won on her she won her first title and she didn't even shake the hands, didn't have photos with the person that she played. You know, those are memories you want. A uh, nice serve and it comes back unreturned. Uh, just wide of the doubles alley. So it is Dominic team holding, and we are at four all here. So we're getting close to the business end. 34 minutes in, both players very strong on serve. No one has faced a break point or had a break point yet. Um, Gene saying, Azarenka beats Georgie in the first game. He's saying that match, that is a fire match. Milan Monte Carlo should be really interesting with Rafa coming back and Novak and Carlos could directly face each other for the number one spot. Um, yeah, that would be awesome. Definitely. Um, I would love to. I think everyone's just drooling to see that. Beautiful serve out wide. Returned up the middle. Short ball. Sanego puts that away. Forehand into the open court. Uh, both players just chilling on serve. I want some action. I agree with you. Yes, Emma. No pressure. Says Suwan. Yep. 11 winners uh, to seven for Senego. Pretty good, pretty good. One ace each. Um, here we go. Senego serving at 15 love. Gets a drop shot on the plus one. Oh, team didn't even go for it, but the drop shot hit the top of the tape and lands on his side. Um, yeah, so here you go. 15. A oh beautiful serve out wide. I believe that's an ace. I don't know if uh team got uh maybe a tiny piece of that as he was swinging, but either way, it was a point for Senego and it was a real nice out wide serve. At so here we go 30 15. Okay. Why is Trevisan winning, LOL? This is a, a hard court, says Gene. First serve by Senego into the net. From one Italian to the next. Here we go. Second serve for Senego at 30-15. Okay, we got a backhand return team goes just long. So 40-15, Senego. Um, yeah. And let's see here. Max saying, I did expect the first set to go to a tie break. And we're almost there. Well, not Just a few games away. It's a few Lynn Barrer into a third set. Okay. So, yeah, that one was uh, Barrer had a chance there. And serve and volley from Senego ends up with him going forehand into the open court volley there so holding and it is now five to four and we are in the first moment of pressure as dominic team now is serving to stay in this set folks um yeah a little changeover so now let's take a look at the women's action so on the women's side, we had Mertens taking out Kasatkina, two sets to one. Badosa over Sigmund, two sets to one. A little bit of controversy there. I'll talk about that maybe in a second. Uh, Kinwin Zhang takes out Begu in three sets. Martich over Wang in two sets. Collins over Tomova in straight sets. Pagula over Sibov, the Canadian, in straight sets. Samsonova over Golubic in straight sets. I believe that was a couple of breadsticks there. Ostapenko takes out Bjorklund. 
in straights, Potapova over Kostyuk, straight sets, Goff over Marino, straight sets, Haddad Maya over Martin Kova in three, um, Claire Liu over Grabher, uh, Grabher, if you always forget, it's, uh, people sometimes say Grabner, but there's no N in there. Anyways, it's straight sets for Liu there, and Magda Lynette, straight sets over Rodina. We have also currently playing, we have Hibino over Trevisan. As uh, Jean mentioned, Trevisan is up a set and 5-2. So she's one game away. It's uh, Habino serving currently. Uh, and then we have Georgie and Azarenka, one game apiece early in set number one. And then, of course, that ma uh, the final match on the women's side will be Rabakina Kalinskaya. I will be calling that one as well. So there we go. We are all updated on the out-of-town, I guess, out-of-court scoreboard because they're all in the same town. They're just on different courts. Um, okay, let's see. Um, Emma saying, how is Trevisan even in the top 30? She's barely won a match since French Open last year, Jean. It's a good question. Uh, Sean saying, saw a good interview called OJ Aliassime. Thoughts on Carlos Alcaraz. Worth a watch. Uh, interesting. I'd have to, yeah, that, that sounds awesome. Is that on YouTube, Sean? Let me know. I might have to check that out. Um, okay, here we go. Team serving to stay in the set. Oh, nice backhand, uh, Sinego. And then he kind of slipped, but he caught himself. We got a forehand, now backhand, Sinego. Forehand team, forehand, Sinego. Backhand team off the tape, and it lands on his side. So it's love 15. Okay, let's get into the kit. So uh, Adidas is what um, our boy Dominic team is rocking. And he's rocking like a like a light, light green and white. It's like green with like cloudy white, but it's mainly green. Everywhere, he's got the Adidas stripes on his left kind of chest. He's rocking his black headband as he does with the white Adidas lettering. He's got white shorts, black Adidas shoes, black socks, and he's got a wristband, a white one on his rest, right wrist, and he's rocking his Bobolat Pure Strike as normal. All right, Dominic Team takes the second point as he makes his way to the net, swinging volley, and uh, good point there. So 15 all. So, yeah. So when they do a close-up, you can see it's more of a solid green with like white, like kind of cloudy whiteness on his shirt. And then when you look from afar, it looks almost like a like mint, mint chocolate chip ice cream colored. All right. Makes his way to the net on the serve and volley. Does team. Senego tries to lob him, but man, that was not a good one at all. It was very short and it was an easy drop put away for team 30-15. Uh, Jean saying Rabat title and French Open semis. Yeah, she made it to the semis, so that got her some good points there. Um, uh, Emma saying, yeah, but ever since then, it's been poor, yeah. Uh, it's those points hold for a year. Trevisan beat Sacre at the United Cup. Some of these Maria losses, I can't wrap my head around. Yeah, that was a crazy. I watched that match. It was really nuts. Dominic team with a beautiful drop shot on the plus one. Beautifully done. Tenego did not get to it before the second bounce, and he leaves a huge skid mark um, with his the soles of his shoes as he raced it down as hard as he could. He put it on the brakes like a like a car. Oh, he actually got a piece of the the ball from the frame of his racket before it hit the second bounce, but it went nowhere near. Um. Okay. First serve is wide from team, 40-15, second serve. Um, Kasatkina struggling with the heat, says Gene. Interesting. Kathy saying Paul Shelton won 10-8 in the final set tie break. All right, super tie break there. And Dominic team holds, and it is five all. So we're getting closer and closer to the business end. I didn't hit the button because I didn't feel like we were business endy. We hadn't had one break point. So I didn't think, I thought maybe I'd hit it when it gets a little closer, but it uh, wasn't yet. Not in that game. Emma saying, Gene baffled me on college girl, took her to three sets at the Australian Open. Um, uh, Kathy saying they said Kasatkina wasn't feeling well. Heat exhaustion, says Gene. Uh, it's on YouTube, a channel called Open Court. Thank you, Sean. I'm going to take a look at that. 
By the way, folks, please do give. Oh, hey, we have 22 likes and we have 17 people in here. So thank you to every single one of you. Really, really appreciate your support, your comments, your likes. Um, here we go. Another ace for Senego to kick off that the game number 11. It is 15 love. Now he's serving again. First serve is good. Block chip return goes wide. And it is 30 love. So Nego. So Senego rocking Imperial Armani. He's got the EA7. He's got the orange headband, orange shirt, black uh, shorts with some orange uh, stitching. And he's got the kind of reddish orange socks and white shoes. So the Italian rocking the Italian gear. Oh, my God. Serving volley. He had an easy backhand volley at the net. Put away. And he goes into the net. So it's 30-15. Lucky, easy point there for Dominic. But, hey, got to make him hit one more shot. That's a good rule if you can do that. It's something that Djokovic and Alcaraz do. Rabakina does. Medvedev. These are some of the greats right now. And they make everyone hit a shot, uh, shot more than they were expecting to have to hit. Here we go. 30-15 first serve is good. Block back return. Now forehand Sonego is inside out. And then a backhand chip from uh, team. Forehand Sonego, forehand team. Now Sonego makes his way to the net. Oh, and he does this time. So uh, team makes the ball go over the net and dip real quick. But Sonego got there and just kind of, made his racket flat as a plate and as it as it went over and dipped it dipped right onto the strings and went over for a very nice delicate little drop shot while he was running forward so senego double game point 40 15 here Boobity -bop -bop Dominic P. okay here we go serve is good no it's not sorry it's long thought it was good yeah, very. I like I like the kind of orange that Senego is rocking. I think it's that almost the exact same color as the the ball boys, and also the towels at at India at uh, Miami are orange as well. All right, serve is good from Senego, and the return is long, and Senego holds for a six to five lead. Again, we have been on serve, no breaks, no opportunities. We got a changeover. Let's hear it. For the Italian. That's a short button, but it's a button and it belongs to Senego. So nicely done there. Uh, all right, folks, do you think um, this is going to a tie break like Max said? Or do you think that um, Senego can put some pressure on the team's serve? Emma saying this is a serve fest so far, and also snooze fest uh, based on the uh, emoji there. Um, yeah, so Gobi just chilling, my little girl right beside me. Oh, you can't really see her. You can see her ears, baby. Um, let's see what else. We got a tie break, Emma says. That's her guess. I also think it's going to go to a tie break. Um, yeah. Crowd is pretty sparse. There is definitely some people in there, but it's not... I mean, you know, it's only round two, and uh, you have the 59th ranked versus 106th ranked. Although... And, and also, uh, teams had a pretty rough go here um, at this specific tournament. Um, he's made it to the quarters, I think, one time, but the last three years, he's lost in the first round. Um, yeah. Take a quick look as well at team... What's happened. So, just poor guy, since... Beginning of the year, um, he lost in Adelaide uh, first round, lost to Rublev in the Australian Open. Uh, Davis Cup, he had two straight straight set losses to Go Gojo and to Chorich. Lost to Molchan, or sorry, beat Molchan in Buenos Aires and then lost to Varias and then lost to Diego Montero in Rio. Lost to Garin in Chile. So he lost to Brazilian in Brazil, lost to a Chilean in Chile. And then lost in the first round, Indian Well. So he's, yeah, one, two, three, four losses. Five losses. So nine losses and one win in this whole year. Um, but he is serving to stay in it. And a nice forehand up the line. And then Senego backhand chop um, is uh, into the net. 15 love team. 
We got Suwan saying hi to his BFF, Gobi. Gobi, Suwan saying what's up? Her ears perked up. That's a good sign there, Suwan. Emma saying U.S. attendance has been shocking the past few years. Crowds are basically a ghost town. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on there. But um, I know in Florida, they they pride themselves on trying to be back open as fast as possible and all that stuff. So I'm surprised that they're not a little bit more. But may, I'm sure as the tournament goes on and, of course, when we have some diff- – honestly, some bigger names because – obviously team was a you know number three player grand slam champion but he doesn't have that cachet at the moment tenego rips it off the tape and it's a lucky bounce for a short bounce for team and he gets to it in plenty of time and he hits it into the net uh can kind of sum up his year so far where he gets a lucky break bounces up high enough for him to get to it easily contacted above the height of the net and then he just puts it into the net unfortunate but still 15 all milan going surprise look on that play wow gene um trevisan wins oh geez there you go she was up 5-2 i guess she served it out there um in the second set oh beautiful up the line winner on the plus one for dominic team and I, i'm talking directly straight up the line Man, when he connects that backhand, it looks gorgeous. It just is such a nice-looking shot. Block back return right to his backhand, sets up nicely, and boom, right up the line. 30-15, Dominic team. 707, Lady T. Hi, everybody. Welcome, 707. Great to have you in the chat. And another serve is a good one out wide, and the return is long, so it's 40-15, Two game points here to get to a tie break has a Dominic team. Gene saying faces Claire Liu in the second round. Does Trevisan a rematch of their Rabat final last year? Emma saying Liu will take care of her, I think. First serve is good. Return is a nice one. Cross court. Then uh, back up the line there from team. And Sonego made his way to the net. And backhand volley goes wide. So we are into... A tie break. Tie break. Tie break. Let's see who you think is going to win. Let me know right after this. Okay, Lorenzo Sonego will serve first in this tiebreak. Here we go. We got Gene saying Dominic 7-5. to five. All right, first serve is long. Comes a second serve. Max saying, I knew, I knew it. A tiebreak would happen eventually. Good call there. Sonego 8-6. Emma, Sonego 99-97. Okay, Milan 7-4. Uh, it's like the Rabakina Pavalenka tie break there. Senego wins the first point. Dominic team now serving. Pressure is building, folks. Pressure is building. Max saying, I want team to win the tie break, but I think I'll go with Senego 10 to 8. And Suwan, Emma laughing there. What up, game two lovers? What's up, Ghost? Saying team 7 to 4. Welcome. Everyone's saying hi to Ghost, as they should. Nice return on the serve there. Um, now, Sonego goes up the line backhand, but it's wide. So, team won all. And continuing on serve, we got Milan saying, hey, Ghost. Everyone's saying, hey, Ghost. In all seri- seriousness, Sonego 10-8. Okay. So, we all think uh, everyone's going, not everyone, but a lot of people going longer than seven for the winner. So, um Let's see, Kathy saying, Trevor San is quirky, won't win anything in forever, and then beat someone 20 ranking places above her. Yeah, she's like a moody player almost uh, in the, in results wise, not uh, not her personality. I don't I, I don't uh, mean to say that. Definitely not. Sonego 10 8 from Kathy. Um, hey, everybody. Hope you and your people are happy and healthy. Um, <clears throat> yeah, thank you. Really appreciate that, Ghost. Um, okay, we are still on serve. Senego serving at 1 2. We've bumped up to 26 people, so this tie break has brought eyeballs along with it. And we've got 25 likes, so it's like everyone has given us a like. Thank you so much. Really, really appreciate that, folks. 
Um, here we go. Serve is good. Forehand return. Now forehand Sonego inside out. Backhand team. Forehand Sonego. Forehand team. Forehand Sonego. Now backhand team goes long and it's two all. Every player has one on serve so far, just like they won every game that they served in the first set. Sonego, the taller of the two. Lanky. Both wearing headbands, but uh, the team has the much more subtle and thin one. Gene giving us a uh, heads up that uh, Safiulin is up a break in the third set. All right, here is Sonego. Nice cross court return and then forehand return. Or sorry, for serve and then forehand return from team. And team has a backhand opportunity and it goes wide as. So Nago made his way to the net. So good approach shot, forcing team to his backhand on the run. And he was not able to handle that. And Sonego real quick holds both mini, mini holds there. Max, Trevor Sons reaching the semis at French Open last year was an unexpected run. Yeah, for sure. Definitely. Thanks for the info, Gene. I really hope uh, Safiulin will have a breakthrough. Here we go. Team serving at 2-3. Beautiful first serve. Uh, return is good. And then the plus one. Oh, did they call it out? Oh, he did the plus one. So he served out wide and then plus one inside in, but they called it wide. I actually thought that was in. It was just half an inch out. So unfortunate. So team... First one to blink down a mini break at the changeover, 2-4. He does have one more serve, though. Okay. <laughs> Emma saying, Matt, regarding the unexpected run, yes, and unwanted. Are you, are you saying that? That, that was an unwanted run. Uh, Ghost saying, my boy Fabio is out in singles and doubles, so I'm all in on Trevisan. I need me some animated Italians. Bene, bene, molto bene. What about Senego? He's Italian. All right, here we go. Team, down a mini break, serve up the T is a let. So we got another one. <laughs> Trevisan might make the quarters at this rate. Yeah, maybe. God forbid. So Emma just not a big Travis fan. All right. The uh, other first serve after the let is wide. So here comes a second serve. Which is good. Forehand Sonego is haywire. It wasn't a shank, but he just hit it long by like eight feet and wide by a foot. So Sonego now up. A mini break serving 4-3. Can team recover the break? I'm excited to find out. Um, we're getting close, folks, to me pressing this business end button because the tension is starting to slowly rise. Do you think this tie break will be over before the changeover? In the next five points. Let's see. Let's see. Here we go. Sonego. First serve is an ace out wide. Five to three. Beautifully done and looked really easy too. All right, folks. Um, Sonego here, if, can, if he can hold his serve, he will be looking at three set points. Let's see if he can do it. Okay, first serve from Sonego, 5-3. Off the tape and just long. Second serve coming up. Just like Indian Wells, there are no line judges here. All automated Hawkeye. Second serve is good. Forehand return up the middle. Forehand Sonego, inside in. and then Oh, and then up the line from... Dominic team and Sonego had a chance to put away a backhand volley and dumps it into the net. I think he kind of shanked that, to be honest. Shank volley, kind of rare. So Dominic is back on serve here. 
Down four five. Dominic. Dominic. Okay. That was a huge, huge point for team. He would have been down three set points. Now he's back on serve. First serve is long. Here comes the second serve. Taking his time. Tosses up. Serve is good. Backhand return, cross court. Backhand slice team. Forehand Sonego inside in. Forehand team, cross court. Forehand Sonego, backhand team. We're going up the middle here. Forehand Sonego, forehand team. Forehand Sonego is wide. So team now five all here. Um, so yeah, we're fully back here on serve. Nicely done, Dominic. And now he has a chance to get a point for set point. Let's see. Let's see. Still not feeling, not feeling the tension. I was feeling the tension at, at 5-3 when Sonego had a chance to make it 6-3, but the tension's mellowed out. Let's see. Here we go. Five all. Serve is good. Nope. Oh, yeah, it's good. And then backhand return up the middle. Now the backhand from team uh, cross court. Backhand Sonego into the net. So Dominic team has a set point, folks. Go saying Sonego is a swell fella, but I like the Italians who gesture wildly and curse at the heavens and or dance enthusiastically after winners. That's Spanini and Trevisan. There you go. Fair point, says Milan. Sometimes uh, Irani as well. Okay. Oh, Barrera broke back there. Lucetti, Berrettini. Yeah, they're not as uh, they're not as animated. I could see, I could see that. That was from Lady T there. Okay, Sonego down a mini break. Actually, he's on serve, but uh, down a set point, I should say. Uh, block back return from team. Now backhand Sonego cross court. Forehand team. He steps around the backhand there. Backhand Sonego. Forehand team. Forehand Sonego. Forehand team. Forehand Sonego to the backhand of team up the middle. Forehand Sonego. Forehand team. Forehand Sonego. Backhand slice from team. Forehand Sonego. Now backhand team up the line and he tried to get a passing shot winner, but it goes just wide as Sonego made his way to the net. Six all, and we are switching over once again. Uh, Emma is saying, I can't believe Irani is still playing. Seen her in a few quali uh, qualifiers and challengers. Thought she retired. Uh, Jean saying, Etcheverry breaks to lead in the second set. Uh, Ghost saying, again, with Seti and Bertini, but they're not gregarious. Uh, Y'all not. I was catching your drift, my friend. I know. You want the guy who. Who says, hey, what's going on? Or like when Senego famously drops his racket at Wimbledon on the out call and the umpire starts smiling. Um, Ghosty loves Italians like Nick Cage and Moonstruck. <laughs> funny, funny. Uh, Senego getting tight. Yeah, looking like a compliment king is here. And a healthy Ramadan to all that it applies to as well. Yes, definitely. I also was not aware of Ramadan uh, being now. But thank you for enlightening um emma saying haha nick cage and moonstruck love it ghost ghost i've heard about the movie moonstruck i need to watch it yeah that's uh share and nicholas cage and share i believe won an oscar for that uh domi says uh emma okay all right here we go six all sanego serving serve is wide oh man and the serve it was an out wide serve if you got that in Dominic team was like 15 feet off the court. <sighs> all right, here we go. Lorenzo, second serve at six all is a good one. Forehand. And uh, we got a backhand slice there from um, team. And then Sonego makes his way to the net and a shot to his backhand. And he puts away a backhand volley. So a mini break setting up another set point for Sonego. Great approach to the forehand. And then a backhand cross court volley. And then he roars looking at his bench or his uh, player's box, I should say. Team's fitness still not up to par. What are they feeding that boy? I'm not sure. 
But yeah, he definitely looks a little bit, yeah, a little bit, not how he, not as spiked as he was uh, pre-injury. What's up, Covey and everyone? What's up? And the thing is, he's he's going to all these places. Poor guy tries to travel to Brazil, plays one match. Then he travels to Buenos Aires, plays one match. Keeps just playing one match. One and nine this year, poor guy. All right, second serve is good. Backhand return cross court. Backhand team to the backhand of Sonego. Now forehand team to the backhand Sonego. It's a slice. Now it's a forehand team cross court and beautiful. It wasn't a winner, but it might as well have been. And it's seven all. So Dominic team saves another set point. Woo. Now I'm feeling the tension again, folks. The tension is rising. Jane saying Nick Cage had an octopus pet in that movie. <laughs> Very cool. Um, the chat is at the bottom now, and I can't see the screen for some reason. Interesting. Is that is anyone else having an issue with that? Jane. Hi, all. Covey, Ghosty Jane, Emma, Kathy. Hello, Jane. Always great to have you. Um Kathy saying Moonstruck, amazing flick. Okay, second serve here. Seven all team is good. Forehand return. Now forehand team into the high part of the net. Now Sonego will serve. 8-7 serving for the set here. Team is just talking to himself, unhappy. Um, not negative body language, but negative like verbal language, I feel like. Um, yeah. Emma saying brilliant to save set point. It's a long tie break. Yeah, Suwon, I think you had, did you have 8 6 or 10 8 or something? Um, <laughs> okay. Here we go. Senego serving for the set at 8 7. First serve is good. Backhand return up the middle. Forehand, uh, Senego. Forehand team is wide, lands in the alley. And Senego roars nine to seven. He takes it. And the Italian is up one set to love. That was quite a long set. No breaks for anyone until a couple of mini breaks. But um, Suwan had eight, six. Close, close. But no cigar, folks. I don't think anyone got that one. Let me just double check, though. Just in case. By the way, we'll quickly hit this button for Lorenzo. Okay, so I don't have nine seven. Kathy had ten eight. I'm gonna scroll back up here. Okay. All right. Uh, Ghost had seven four. We had seven four. We had ninety nine ninety seven eight six seven five. Um, no nine sevens, but we had a bunch uh, that were kind of close. We had ten eight and eight six, so those are both uh, close enough, I would say. Nicely done, thank you to all who had given your prediction. Max said, "I hope this isn't over for team." Yeah, let's hope not. Um, yeah, going to be a while before we're back in a, at this rate. Yeah, uh, especially for you because you're in England. What's that five? So is it uh, it's twelve fifteen for you there right now, AM? I believe it is. Uh, hopefully this one won't go too too long. Go saying I love Senegal's warrior yell. Yeah, he does have a good yell there for sure. Um, Sue, and then they're actually doing showing him roar in slow mo. Sue Juan Lim, Tom Brady just acquired ownership in WNBA Las Vegas Aces, the current champs. Oh, nice. Um. And then 707 saying, ugh, Tom Brady, Max says, I had no idea. Emma, 1215, yes, good thing I don't work Fridays. All right. Yeah, I, uh, I've i been doing DoorDash uh, just for some extra money, and I've been doing it till like 3 in the morning. I was actually napping before I, I got onto the stream. That's probably one of the reasons why I hit the wrong stream. Um, yeah. 
it's been uh, been interesting, but it's kind of fun. I like driving, so if you like driving, it's pretty fun stuff to do. I'm not sure how it is in other countries, but here in Vancouver, if you have a car, not a bad way to make a couple extra bucks. All right. We are already into set number two. Dominic team is serving. And first serve is into the net. Second serve is a good one. Backhand returns to Nago. Forehand team. Backhand to Nago. Forehand slight, uh, chop from team. Now, oh, team with a backhand cross-court winner as Senego made his way to the net. Nice passing shot. 15 love. Good start for the Austrian. Yeah, I'm I'm getting the feeling. I think I said uh, Senego in three. I think it's going to be straight. I just feel like Senego just constantly putting a little bit more pressure on. Dominic team. First serve at 15 love is a good one. Block back return. Now backhand team up the line. That goes into the net. 15 all. Emma says, I'm a teaching assistant. All those children. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder why I picked it, but I do love the job and helping the kids out for their future. Well, that's very noble and that's great. Um, yeah. I've had a whole bunch of different, <laughs> different jobs. I'm, one of those people who I got to do something that I really love to do, or it's really tough for me to stay motivated. Good serve, nice block back return. And then team goes wide on the plus one. It's 1530. So first time anyone's really had pressure on their serve. And this is only just a tiny bit. Go saying good luck. Tom Brady WNBA has been failing for years economically, which is a shame because I dig women's b-ball. Jane saying at Ghost, yeah, I like it when they just yell with no words. Oh, speaking of Senego there. I haven't really gotten into WNBA. I'm not going to lie and say that I've ever watched a match. It's, I'm not even a big basketball fan since I, like I was I was a big ba bigger basketball fan uh, when Jordan was playing. Uh, I'm definitely one of those Jordan is way better than LeBron guys. Um, but that's, I mean, because they're totally different in one regard, like... Uh, LeBron's more of a pass first guy um, and like a really good playmaker as well as a scorer. But Jordan was like a murderous, venomous, just he'll take your head off. Um, and during the pressure, pressure moments, you know, NBA finals undefeated. Pretty hard to argue there. Nice serve. Now we got a backhand to backhand from team forehand Sinego. Forehand team, nice shot. Forehand Senego up the line, the open side, and it's a winner. So now it's 15-40 and a couple of break points. The first break point anyone has seen in this match. So Senego just looking a little bit stronger, a little bit sharper here. Watch Diana Tarazi. She's a beast. I've heard of the name Tarazi. Um Serve up the middle, return is a block back, and then inside out, forehand winner for Dominic Team on the plus one, and it is 40-30, so saves one break point. This, I feel like this is a big moment in this match. Um, Dominic Team definitely needs to hold here. 96 mile per hour forehand winner, so no fear on that forehand from Dominic Team. That's good to see. Break point number two coming right up. Sonego with his second opportunity to break in this game and in this match serve is good backhand return up the middle forehand uh team forehand senego forehand team backhand senego backhand team backhand senego backhand team is well wide and long and senego gets the first break of the match uh oh <laughs> Yeah, so there you go. And what was the name ghost of the the woman who was on the Vegas Aces? She she was smoking the cigar. Um she was like she went viral after they won the championship and she was smoking everyone everyone had a crush on her. Um I forgot her name. She's a brunette. Um anyways, she's uh she's really pretty. Definitely saw her on the line a whole bunch when they won. But I forgot her name. Um, let's see. Suwan saying, Ghost, I just watched the playoffs. 
the level of play has been better. Nice. Jane saying Sonego is good. It is a tough first round draw for team. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Um, we got Emma. I watch tennis most of the time and I like darts also, which is popular over here. Don't mind some formula one either. I tried to get into that formula one. Ah, Kelsey Plum. You're right. That's her. I remember that name. Yes. That's who I'm talking about. Uh, first serve unreturned 15 love for Sonego. I have a feeling that Sonego is going to roll here. Um, Got that first break finally after all that tension, tension in the tie break. Um, so, yeah. Here we go. First serve at 15 love out wide, unreturned, goes off the racket into the net. So it's 30 love, two swings of the racket, and he's up 30 love real quick. Uh, oops, mainly tennis for me, says Emma. Uh, hey, did Gasquet win? Let me double check for you, Jane. Gasquet did win over O'Connell, two sets to one. Serve at 30 love is good. And then the plus one up the line winner. So Sonego, again, he's cruising. It just looks like he's going to be, at least for the next five minutes or so, it looks like he's going to be cruising. He just has the energy, has the momentum. 40 love here. Here we go. First serve at 40 love. Into the net. Second serve coming up. Uh, Ghost, uh, they are animated characters talking of some of these. Uh, and uh, Suwon beat you to it. I believe the name Kelsey Plum is what you're saying there. And it is a game to love for Sonego. <laughs> So, um, darts is full of cocky players. You know, about two weeks ago, there was like this darts tournament, this clip that went viral where this guy like hit almost a perfect score. And then this other guy beat him by one with like, it was really crazy. But the intensity of that clip was like, was like World Cup's finals level. Like it was nuts. Um, okay. Dominic team and forehand into the net here. He's serving now down a break. Love two in the second set down a set and a break. And um, not looking good right now. Sonego just got a game to love. Won the first point here. Also ended the last, let's see, the last game. Or the, the first service game. Yeah, team has only two points in this set so far. First serve is long. Yeah, so nine points for Sonego in this set to just two for team. Second serve is good. Backhand return cross court. Now backhand team is just wide of the sideline. And yeah, now it is. It is love 30 and Sonego putting some pressure, some real pressure. If he goes down a double break, folks, this could be a quick set. So Dominic team needs to be careful here. Um, Emma, all the rave over here is football. Yeah, one of my buddies is a scouser. Ghost saying team is still out of shape. How's that possible? He's come back for a while. What, a year now? It's because he's not going deep into any of these tournaments. So he's not getting the, the constant like match level fitness. You know, when you go to one place, you lose in the first round. Yeah, you're training and stuff like that, but you're not playing match. You're not grinding out these matches. Like Alcaraz, he missed, um, a, what, the first two months of the year, but then he went to finals and won the first one, went to the finals and the other one, and then finals a third time. So he's getting his match fitness up because he's playing a bunch of matches by winning, and uh, team just isn't getting any rhythm to do that. He's never going – he's only won one game, this one match this whole – year so he's not getting any kind of like back to back to back matches where he can build that stamina up at this level um and oh Sonego with a beautiful inside in forehand winner up the line setting up another couple of break points kathy saying i watched tennis 95 percent american football five percent until playoffs then 15 percent. otherwise my devices have no idea there's anything other than sports channels there you go that's cool 
Um, Jane, ghost, he knows you've been checking out Stri Stricker lately, so he took some time off to get one of those Brazilian butt lifts. I am totally missing this conversation here. Uh, Dominic T in second serve now at 1540, um, facing two, at least two break points. Maybe just one, though, if Sonego can take this point. Serve is return up the middle, forehand team, backhand Senego, forehand team, backhand slice Senego, cross court, backhand team, up the line, goes off the tape, lands in, forehand Senego, backhand slice team, forehand Senego, inside out, backhand is wide from team. He tries to go backhand with a short angle, and it is another break, and it's a double break for um, our boy, Lorenzo Senego. <laughs> He also consolidated on his last service game. So retroactive consolidation coming up, folks. All right. Emma saying, I guess it's because you all have your own football. And then Max saying... Um, Emma, people in the U.S. call it soccer. Yeah, so we have American football, which is what I guess the Brits call football. Like, And then we call it soccer, but I know what you're talking about generally. Emma saying, can I ask what your favorite WTA players are, Cubby? Yeah, uh, I'm a big Sabalenka fan. I'm also a fan of Leila Annie Fernandez. Really, really love her fighting spirit. Um, also, my... Favorite tennis player all time from WTA is Justine Enna. Just loved her style. Um, let's see. Let's look through this list because there are so many. Um, just to make sure I'm not missing anyone. Um, I am. Also, yeah, of course, uh, Bianca Andrescu. Big fan of hers as well. That has a lot to do with her being a Canadian um, and being the first major singles major title holder uh we've, we've never had uh singles uh in the male side on the men's we've had i think boys but not men's uh but yeah those are kind of my favorites i'd say um i know i'm missing a couple i'll, I'll think of a couple more here um oh yeah i like Anz jabur as well i really like her attitude and i like her, her i like how she's an ambassador for um like african players as well as muslim women I think that's really, really dope. Um, and also like her style where she throws in the, you know, the, ch the chip shots and the drop shots. Sonego 15 love here. And Dominic team is hitting himself in the forehead. Never want to see that. Um, yeah, poor guy. I just feel like poor Dominic team, you guys. It's real bummer. What's going on? Here we go. Senego, 15 love. He's up a double break trying to consolidate that second one. First serve is just wide. And... Kathy saying, I had a gecko uh, name, I uh, named Zizu after uh, Zinedine Zidane, I'm assuming. Uh, okay. Oh, my, pardon me. That first serve was actually a let. So that's another one just went into the net. Now it's second serve. I really think there is a weakness in the wrist, maybe even imperceptible to himself. Yeah, something is up, isn't it, Sean? I, I can't put my finger on it, but he just... It's like he's a puzzle piece that's missing a, pu a, a puzzle that's missing a piece, you know, in some, some fashion. All right, we got a nice little battle going, but then team goes long on the forehand. Senego, 30 love, and we're getting into potential... Bagel discussions here, folks. Emma saying, I know Max along with Australia, Canada, New Zealand, talking about football, I believe. Uh, team uh, Sue Wan saying, Team would wish he would be back like how Radicanu came back at Indian Wells. 30 love for serve goes into the net. Um, let's see here. Emma saying, I love Saba. Personally, like Rabakina, Raducanu, and Pagula. I also really, uh, Rabakina is really growing on me because I like those, I like certain play when players are stick to their personality. And her personality is not loud. It's not boisterous uh, or anything like that. 
and she owns it. And I, and I like that. Um, I don't like when people are like trying to subdue themselves when they naturally want to be exuberant, or I don't like when people are falsely exuberant when they're naturally not. Um, and I think she really owns, she's very authentic. And so Rebecca is very much growing on me. Like I could even see Rebecca taking over from Saba in my list of favorites, um, just based on how, how clinical she is, how like quiet she is, how powerful she's got this nice mix of she's tall, she's strong, but she's got, you know, delicate, um, hands. She got hard, hard, powerful serve, great mover, never complains, hardly ever cheers. Something, something interesting about that. Um, Love to see Jesse take care of Sebov Handley. Pagula. All right, second serve at 30. Love and the return goes haywire for team. And he is just off, folks. Forty yeah. fifteen double game point from a double break, a consolidated double break lead of four to love is Sonego. If he can win one of the next two points. And points have not been tough for him to come by in this set, folks. Oh, first serve is low into the net there. Second serve coming up. Emma saying this is such a shame. I hope team can avoid a bagel in the second set, said Max, says Max. And the backhand on the plus one from Senega goes very wide. So it's 40-30. So team... Still has a chance to stay within one break, but he will need a few points here. Um, Go saying I have a little bit of a crush on Layla, so I tend to watch her matches because I don't want to cheat on team's booty. Hey, at least you're upfront about it. I also really like Layla. Any uh, to me, I'm not so much of a crush on her. She almost like a little sister because she's what like 19 or 20 or whatever. But she just has this like really. Uh, really cute quality, and she's very fierce as well. She got strength behind her. And Sonego, another backhand goes wide. So Dominic Team finds his way back to Deuce after being down 40 15 on the Sonego serve. Um, let's see here. Emma saying Rebecca is the ice queen of the WTA tour. You said that. Definitely agree with you there. Emma is my overall favorite, though, obviously. Emma Radu Kanu. Suwan saying, yes, Kavi Reba, uh, even when she won Wimbledon, she is still quiet and humble and not much attention opposite of Emma. Um, and then Emma saying matching names and all, of course. If there was a Covey on tour, I'm probably sure that I would I would be stoked um, and they would be one of my favorites. Um, Emma has a great personality, says Suwan. Ghost saying Rebecca is just super shy. But yeah, her sister got all the... I don't know if you caught Covey's corner... But her sister um, is the, <laughs> the exuberant one. She was the one celebrating way more there. First serve into the net from Senego on game point on his advantage. Second serve coming up. Come on, team, says the compliment king. Compl always nice to have the compliment king. Warms up the chat. And backhand return. Now Senego backhand into the net. It looked like he was... That was weird. He, like, he was there on time, but oddly, he still stretched his arms awkwardly like that. That wasn't a smooth backhand there. Um, so it's 40 all back to deuce. Sean saying might be better to be low key. Like we're back in a, keeps people off your back. Yeah. And you know, there's some people who are quiet, but they, they're like, Oh, I'm introverted. I want to be out there and stuff. You can tell she's not out there and she doesn't want to be. She's like, I also want to play tennis. I want to travel the world doing what I love and have a good time. You know? Um, all right, nice little rally going. Got forehand to the backhand of team, and then a backhand from team off the inside out. Senego forehand goes haywire again. So advantage Senego for four love once again. Um, Emma saying when Elena won Wimbledon, it was uh, it was like it was a casual thing. Yeah, she literally just didn't even raise her arms. She didn't even do this. She didn't even do this at Indian Wells either. First thing she did was she just wiped her upper lip with her. Wristband. That was it. Okay. Senego first serve is good. Chip return is also good. Forehand Senego, forehand team into the bottom of the net. 
And there it is, the second straight consolidation for Senego. He's up four to love, and we are nearing nearing bagel territory, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, um, let's see here. Emma saying, "I was pleasantly pleasantly surprised when uh, I was." I was pleasantly surprised Elena won Wimbledon, was fully expecting Jabir to take it. I was too. Uh, definitely, definitely was too. By the way, just got a better look at team's shoes. They're not actually just black. They're like this like holographic where they change. It goes from like almost uh, like like purpley to like, you know that the, the, you know, when you have like the bubbles that kids blow and you look at it and it kind of looks like purpley or pink or depending on the angle. It does that. It has this like translucent sort of changing depending on the light. So they're kind of cool. They're mainly black, but then they have this um, other tint. So nice little rally, but team goes long on the forehand. Looks like he's laboring with his breath as well. So Dominic now, um, love 15 and not a good start to this game. Taking a while to get back to the service line. He does seem tired, folks. Uh, definitely... Um, so yeah, definitely seems tired. Sue Wan saying, when I watched Emma on her Vogue interviews, she is like a TV celeb. Yeah, she carries herself well, for sure. She's a, she's a stylish, stylish uh, woman, for sure. Backhand from team goes long, uh, floats long. So it is now love 30 and team is just getting crushed here, folks. It looks like... Um, yeah, not really going. Elena and her sister are polar opposites, says Emma. Must be an interesting sibling dynamic. Yeah, that's her elder sister, too. Normally, it's the younger that's a little more uh, crazy. This is demolition. Poor Domi. One more break, and it's a bagel, says Suwon. Okay, team, first serve is wide at love 30. Emma saying it's sad the fame got to Emma. Hope she gets her form back. Indian Wells was a good sign. I just wish that she'd get stability with her coaching. You know, we talk about Alcaraz and, you know, the guy, here we go, forehand, inside out, team, backhand, Senego goes into the net. So team is on the board, 15-30. You know, Alcaraz, he's had the same coach since he was 15 and he's 19 year, years old now, you know, like that's completely stable. And then Emma wins the U.S. Open with her coach who also took her to like the quarters, not took her, but helped her get to the quarters of Wimbledon before that, before she retired due to that uh, panic attack or whatever she had. Uh, it was a pretty big moment for such a youngster. And, and then she, she gave, she gave up that coach. So backhand from Senego goes wide and he's looking at his coaches saying, what's going on with my backhand. And so I just feel like with Emma, she kind of did herself a disservice. Like, why not just keep going with this person? You, you know, you you obviously have a great relationship. You make it to the quarters of Wimbledon. You win 10 straight matches, including qualifiers. And then you drop your coach. And I wonder if the pressure of people saying, oh, you know, this guy's not a regular coach on the tour or hasn't been or whatnot. So anyways, I hope she finds some stability there. But she seems like she's playing better. And I'm glad that that's happening. So there we go. That was a really long way of saying that. Kathy, um, when we're backing up one Wimbledon, she was sad because her parents couldn't get into the country, I believe, being Russian. Bummer, bummer, bummer. Um, okay, Dominic team. He's up 40 30 after being loud love 30. First serve is wide. Not many times have uh, either player tried to go up the tee on the serve. Feels like they've been going wide so much. Here comes the second serve at 40 30. So team still has game point. Avoiding a bagel. Can he do it? Forehand return is long from Senego. So Dominic does get a hold. He is down one to four in this set. And he's down a set. But at least we can play his button because it's deserved. After getting on the board. Here we go. Dominic team. He knows what to do. It's Dominic team. It's Dominic team. If you know what I mean. It's Dominic team. If you know what I mean. Scooby Doo Bop Bop Doo. He knows what to do. Scooby Doo Bop Bop Doo. It's Dominic team. 
Yeah. Um, Emma is saying, I remember her crying in the winner's press conference. I think you're referring to Rebecca. I think they asked her to show some emotion. They said, how come you don't show emotion? Uh, and then later on in the press conference, a couple minutes later, someone said, have you talked to your parents yet? And then she broke down. I thought that was a really, really nice moment there. Um, Emma saying, yeah, I don't know what Emma is thinking with her coaching. Very bizarre. Uh, Sean Powers, uh, changing coaches is a red flag. Great champions blame themselves before they blame others. I tend to agree with you, Sean. I'm, uh, you know, I don't have anything against uh, Emma Raducanu at all. But I, yeah, that, that, like the, the word red flag popped into my mind when I was like, why, why would you do that? Are you just like... Are the people around you or like the people in tennis who are, you know, at the tournament saying, oh, this, who is this guy as a coach? Maybe like that was kind of going around. But if you get, if you win a major, like that's a life achievement, you know, that's like unlock life achievement. Anyways, uh, she seems to be doing OK, though. Good to see her back on track a little bit, but still would like to see her win two, three matches in a tournament, get to some quarters maybe um, because she hasn't really tasted so much success since she won that major a couple of years ago in New York. Okay, here we go. Sanego serving at 4-1, and his plus one forehand goes long, and Dominic Team gets on the board first in game number six in the second set. Sanego serving love 15. Kathy saying, I believe uh, Tursanov said the problem wasn't Emma. She had two voices in her head. Uh, too many voices, meaning her dad. Ah, I did not hear about that, but that would make sense. Suwan says no bagel. Ram Bakshi, hi, Covey. Welcome, Ram. The name of the Hindu god is Ram, who came back from exile. And that's uh, when the village people lit up the little candles called Diyas, and that is how Diwali happened. All right, here we go. A little Hindu <laughs> Hindi lesson. Um not that I'm necessarily religious or, and, or or trying to promote it, but I just, uh, Ram, that's a great name. Very strong name. Okay. It's also the memory on your computer. Um, okay, here we go. Second serve is a great serve out wide. Um, now backhand from team is a chopper and forehand Senego. Forehand team up the line. Backhand team cross court back. Uh, team goes inside out backhand and it's a winner. So, um it looks like we've got ourselves a little bit of pressure for the first time on the Senego serve. 15-30, so he's not facing a break, but he has not really even been in this position, I don't believe, in this in this uh, set here. Kathy saying, sounds like Tsitsipas syndrome of the WTA, but he stays behind the scenes. I've never actually seen her father. I don't know if he does he travel with her or I haven't actually seen that or anything like that. Uh, go saying, I like Emma, but I kind of agree with Sean about the red flags. Yeah, Ella, Emma saying, hello, it's frustrating as an Emma fan. All right, Senego, second serve is good. Backhand slice return, forehand Senego, and forehand, deep forehand from uh, team there, lands on the baseline. Now Senego, inside out, forehand team with a backhand up the middle, forehand cross court Senego, forehand team, backhand Senego, tried to go back up, but that, uh, up the line, but it goes long. And now we do have a couple of break points for Dominic Team. So after going down love four, he is uh, has a chance to get one of his breaks back. Uh, Kathy saying, I agree with Sean as well. Nice. Yeah, it's astute. Astute call there, Sean. Um, you always want to make sure that you look in the mirror first. That's why it was... <laughs> Yeah, I know, like, one thing that bothers me, I'm not going to get into politics, but one thing that bothers me is when a politician loses. Nowadays, what they say is, oh, fake news, we lost. Or we actually won. We, you know, it, it was wrong. It was, it's like, come on, man, look, or woman, look in the mirror. Uh, by the way, Senego saves one break point. It's now 30-40 um, as the return from Dominic team went into the net. Yeah, like when politicians like, oh, yeah, um, it wasn't our fault. It, you know, we actually won. It's like, no, you didn't. Take a look in the mirror and say, I lost. Figure it out and come back if that's what you want to do. But don't blame it on, you know, the voting machine or, or whatever. 
it's like a politician in Arizona right now. She lost like two months ago and she's still saying that she won. It's like crazy. Um, okay, here we go. Sanego, serve out wide, return up the middle, and then the forehand goes long, which gives Dominic Team his first break of the match. Well done, Dominic. <laughs> It's Dominic Team. It's Dominic Team. If you know what I mean. It's Dominic Team. If you know what I mean. Scooby Doo Bop Bop Doo. He knows what to do. Scooby Doo Bop Bop Doo. It's Dominic Team. Oh. Right, folks, uh, Dominic Team with an amazing button there from Ben. Uh, Dominic Team is up 15 love, so he's got a little bit of momentum on his side. Um, still has some work to do, though, as he is down still one break. Serve is good. Block back return. Nice and deep. Forehand from Team. Forehand Sonego into the net. So 30 love Dominic. Oh, wow. Is he going to fight back in this match? Interesting. Go saying, Bergs took the first set from Kokonakis. The young Belgium hits hard, serving motion like Delpo. I like him. I have not watched him. So that is very, very good to know. I will check that out um, whenever I get a chance. Also agree with Sean as well, says Max. I miss Delpo. I wish he wasn't injury prone when he was playing tennis. Yeah, I think Uncle Tony said that he's the unluckiest player in, in I don't know if he said tennis history or on, or or in the era that he was in. Uh, but yeah, bummer for him. Although it's, I'm glad he won a major, uh, although it was at Roger's expense. Um, here we go. Forehand team, backhand Senego up the line, and it's a clean winner. 30-15 now. Ooh. We've got a streak here, a very impressive streak from Ghost. Fun fact, never lost a presidential race. Undefeated, the people love me. Ah, not even like... Uh, like in like in elementary school or something like that, because I feel like you'd be a good president. Um, Emma saying, "Wow, fighting hard, yeah." Domi is coming back a little. Nice forehand inside out, and the backhand from Senego into the net. Dominic team 40-15. 40, 40, Dominic team. Um, I thought politicians would accept defeat that they lost. Uh, not to get too political. No, I, I, it's so funny. It's like, you know, two years ago, four years ago, it was like, oh, I lost. I concede. Now it's like, oh, I lost. I won. It's like, well, what are you talking about? Uh, it's getting crazy. Oh, serve out wide and in a ripper of a forehand up the line over the high part of the net. And Senego crushes that one. Well done, Lorenzo. Yeah, that was the nicest return of the match for sure. Nice split set, lunges to his right, connects perfectly, and team even gives him a clap with his racket. So nicely done. Um, Emma's for serve is off the tape and long. Emma saying Delpo was so unlucky. He would have thrived if healthy, could have won another slam or two. Ghost, you can't lose a race. You never enter. That's the ghosty mindset. My book drops next Christmas. Next Christmas? Um, why you got to make me wait that long? And Dominic Team back to Deuce after his backhand slice goes into the net. So he had a couple of game points at 40-15. But Senego has climbed back and he's trying to say, look, I'm going to steal this game and serve it out in the next one. And Dominic Team, he's going to try and say, uh-uh, buddy. No. No. Like sternly, you know. First serve off the let there. Hmm. Another first serve for Dominic Team. And serve is good. Forehand return, forehand team, forehand Lorenzo, backhand team, backhand Sonego. Forehand team is a long one, about four feet long, setting up Sonego's break point. Uh, fifth one of the set here. He's two for four so far. 
and no one faced any in the first set. Wow, the forehand quality. I don't know exactly how they measure this metric, but it's 9.2 for Senego. That's very high. This forehand is connecting 7.6 in the second set here for team. So here we go. Break point for serve into the net. <laughs> okay, second serve. Good. Backhand return up the middle. Dominic team with the forehand up the line is a beauty. And then that's returned by, by Senego. Team makes his way to the net, pushes a backhand to Senego, who goes into the net. Back to Deuce. Ghost, right, reading a, writing a lot of books these days. There's a chapter in my book called The Way of the Gobi. It's just 37 pages of grrr. Oh, man, I put up the cutest story on my Instagram the other day. It was just Gobi because I can I can get Gobi to like growl without barking if I if I kind of like do this specific movement. And uh, and then I just kind of recorded her and she just kept on going arr, 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 like a whole bunch of times. And it was just adorable. Ears were all perked up. All right, serve. And then the plus one up the line. But Senego, was that in? Oh, Senego goes up the line with a ripper of a backhand on the run, but it was just a hair wide. I actually thought that was in. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, it was like two millimeters wide. So Dominic team has a game point here. I'm not saying LOL at ghost. Hey, baby, they're talking about you. You little tiny baby. Okay, Dominic trying to take the game here. Okay, serves good. And then the team with the forehand. Ooh, that was just a hair long of the baseline. Back to deuce. So not out of the woods just yet. I don't know how the math here works, but we've got 31 likes and 17 people watching. That's really good. I appreciate that. Don't know how it's happening, but I will take it. I guess people are just doing some flybys and runbys. Um, all right. Here we go, Dominic team, deuce. First serve is long. Second serve coming right up, folks. Scooby dee bop bop dee. Okay, serve is up the tee. Backhand return. Now backhand from team. Backhand Senego cross court. Backhand slice team. Senego forehand to the backhand of team. Now forehand Senego. Forehand team. Backhand Senego. Backhand slice team. Forehand Senego, backhand team into the net, setting up another break point. Second one of this game. Remember, team was up 40 15 in this game. Then he was down a break point. Then he had a game point. Now he's at break point again. Both 50% conversion rates on break point. Uh, one hour and 46 minutes into this one. Seven and a half minutes for this specific game, actually. So one of the longer games of the match. Maybe the longest one, actually. First serve into the net. So second serve on break point. What will Sonego do? Will he try and run around a backhand since his forehand is clicking? Let us find out. Serve out wide. Backhand return cross court. Backhand team. Forehand cross court. Sonego goes long. Back to deuce. And then Senego yells towards his bench with anger. There's a little bit of the Italian hand motion, but not enough for Ghost, I would say. Not gregarious enough there. If Senego breaks him here, I'm thinking it's over. Same here, buddy. Uh, although, um, I still feel like Sonego is probably going to take it. Um, but yeah, I feel like very, very confident if that were to, be, to happen there. All right, Dominic team, up the T serve is wide. So Sonego will have another look at another second serve. Team's been solid on second serve, though, winning 62%. Not, not too shabby. All right, serve is good. Forehand cross court. Then team goes up the line, but it is wide of the line. And another break point. Number three here for Sonego. Oh, all right. <clears throat> Do you rate Senego higher than Musetti? I do not. Uh, I I rate Musetti higher. I know Musetti is having a little bit of a rough rough patch, 
but I think his ceiling, uh, I mean, obviously he's much younger too, right? 27 and I think 21 is Musetti. Um, I think he's just a little bit more smooth. Um, I think Musetti will have some good runs in his career. And uh, yeah, overall, I'm picking Musetti. How about you? Okay, here's team. Serving. Break point down. Serve is long. Here's a second. Serve is good. Backhand return, cross court. Backhand team. Forehand Sonego up the middle. Forehand team. Backhand Sonego into the net. Again, just an easy rally ball. And Sonego, I would say, let him off the hook a little bit there. But um, each player has had their chances in this game. Ten minutes now we're up to in this specific game. So long one. How long will team's right shoulder hold up for these services? Yesterday, Raducanu had a... Or sorry, uh, well, Raducanu broke Bianca Andreescu in a 20-minute service game. Um, and Bianca was taken... She was, they were liberal with her on the shot clock because... Um, she was routinely letting it reach zero and then she would start her motion like at least four or five times in that game. I even, even though I was rooting for, I guess you could say Bianca, uh, I thought that she definitely deserved some, some violations there. First serve is just a hair wide team thought it was in. I actually did two up the T there, but it wasn't Ooh, two millimeters wide. Uh, second serve at deuce here from Dominic. Is a good one. Backhand return up the middle. Backhand from team. Backhand Senego to the backhand of team. Now forehand Senego. Forehand team. Forehand Senego inside out. Backhand slice team. Now forehand up the line. Winner Senego. And it is another break point. Yet another. Sean says, I don't like Musetti's forehand. Oh, interesting. Um, yeah, I was going to ask you that same question. What's wrong with his forehand? His backhand is beautiful. Um, could be a little more effective, but definitely like visually most reminds me of Roger out of anyone. Um, though it's not necessarily exactly the same or anything, but yeah, let us know what's, what's up with his forehand. I've never really noticed any deficiencies per se. Um, but yeah, let us know. Um, okay. So team now double faults. And gets broken, and now Ghost, I think it is going to be over. Another break. So now he's up a break, uh, second break point. <sighs> a second break for the second time in this set is Sunday. Ghost says, okay, Domi is toast as the night sky has completely descended on Miami. And um, yeah, we're officially into what I would call a night match. Uh, it's 9 p.m. there right on the dot, 6 p.m. here in Vancouver. And what else? Where else is it? Times. It's time everywhere. So is it, uh... It's like, what is it, 1 a.m. now in... Uh... In England. Ghost. Uh, I need teams backhand on TV. So frustrating. Sorry, I don't I don't quite I need teams backhand on TV. I'm not sure what you meant there. Uh he does that weird take back where you invert the racket. They call it next gen forehand, I think. Oh, I'm gonna have to look out for that. Interesting. Hey, hi, Covey in chat says Blockman4. I believe this is also skiing, if I'm correct. It's been a minute, but great to have you. Thank you for joining the stream, as always. Max saying, Mamma Mia, here we go again with team, unfortunately. Yeah, Dominic, man. Um, not looking good. So Nego now has the chance to serve out the match. Well, let me know in the chat, do you think? Nerves will catch up to him, or will he hold and serve it out? I'm curious. 
Go saying, I'm saying I love teams backhand, but I don't get to see it as much anymore because he loses early in tourneys. Okay, that makes sense. I would kind of thought that's what you might be saying, but I was like, but it's on right now. So, um, but yeah, uh, I get you there. First serve is an ace up the tee. So, Sonego's got laser focus. Boom. I want to end it right here, says the Italian. Uh, but the Austrian, let's see if he has any rebuttals. Six, six aces to one in this match for Sonego. It is skiing. Nice. I, uh, it's been a minute since I've uh, chatted with you. Great to see you, Skiing. Haven't seen you on the Discord much lately, although I'm um, not really on there that much either. And a loopy short return from team. And then Sanego goes inside out forehand off the tape, but it still lands in into the open space. 30 love, two points from the match as Dominic team hits his hand on the racket in disgust at himself. 25 winners to 13 for Senego. So pretty much doubling, just one short of doubling those up. Um, it's been a thorough outplaying of a Dominic team by Senego here in this one. Although the first set was extremely tight, no breaks. Uh, and then it was a 9-7 uh, first set win in the tiebreak for Senego. Second serve at 30 love is good. Forehand return up the line. No, it goes into the high part of the net. And it's triple match point for Sonego now. Match point. Max saying, I need to keep up with GTL Discord. Yeah, you do. Always got some good info. Ben and JG are dropping uh, the latest videos, uh, news videos that they put up regarding, um, you know, up to the second updates, things like that. Here we go. First serve on match point is good. Backhand chip return, forehand inside out. Uh, from Senego and then a high lob, which lands right in the very corner from team. And then Senego with an ugly overhead that goes long. I'm going to go ahead and say that was a shame. Match point. Just too good Senego with the unhappy face from emma second match point here for sonego even has the third one in the chamber if need be but i'm pretty sure he'll be happy to end it here if possible first serve into the net second serve coming up the ball boys are almost exactly the same colors as sonego if sonego had orange shoes he would he would mimic them all right second serve Is good. Forehand return up the middle. Forehand Senego. Now backhand team. Forehand Senego to the forehand of team. To the backhand Senego. Backhand team up the line. Chopped back by Senego. Now forehand all oh, into the net approach shot from Dominic team. And that is it. So it was, a, it was a short return. Team was coming in to hit an approach shot and come to the net. But he, he was too eager. I think he was thinking about the play after the approach shot, but he didn't focus on the approach shot. The forehand goes into the net, and Lorenzo Sonego takes it 7 6 6 2. Pretty dominant in the second set. Uh, looked uh, like he was on course for a bagel actually in the second set there, but unfortunate for him. Um, uh, sorry, well, unfortunate for him, he lost the match, but uh, Sonego, um, yeah, he just took advantage and crushed it. And there we have it, folks. So um, the match is complete. That will do it for Dominic Team. Poor guy. Uh, Max is asking, do you think teams should play challenger tournaments? I don't think it's the tournaments he's playing. I think it's a mental block. So whatever helps him get through a mental block, whether he has to do some, go to like a shaman who meditates or something, or if he has to do something with a different approach, um, talk to someone who's had that sort of injury, um, see what they did uh, to overcome it but he just doesn't seem to have the juice um, on that forehand side so um, I yeah I really don't know if it's I mean in terms of if he plays challengers hopefully he'd win two three matches in a row get momentum get his lungs up but it still doesn't matter if he doesn't figure out this thing with his forehand so there you go uh Let's see here. Emma saying, 
I'm in it all the time, Max. I get bored with no streams. Can still chat tennis. There you go. Thanks for the stream, Covey. Well done, Sanego. Going to give my phone a bit of a boost before Rebecca. See you all soon. Saw you followed my IG, Emma. Thanks. Kathy, nice. Hey, Kathy, give me a, uh, give me a follow as well. I'll follow you back. Um, I'm at love, love tennis. The zero, the O's in love are both zeros because love because zero is love in tennis. Uh, he's played some challengers last year. Yeah, he did on his way up. No problem, Kathy. Okay, folks. So that's going to do it for this stream. Um, I'm going to start getting ready for the next one, which is Rabakina versus Kalinskaya. So definitely uh, stick around folks. I'm just real quick before we leave, going to run through the final scores of the matches that I didn't mention. So Tiago Montero, the Brazilian, takes out Kubler in straight sets. Barrer takes out Safiulin in three sets. Echeverri of Argentina takes out the Russian Kotov straight sets. Sanego, of course, takes out team in straights. And Bergs is up a set and on serve against Kokonakis in the second set. Uh, in terms of the women... Georgie loses in straights to uh, Azarenka, and that's pretty much it on that front. All right, folks, that's going to do it for me. Thank you to every single person who's in here. Um, please join me for the next stream. It's uh, probably going to start it in about five to ten minutes as soon as the players hit the court. So uh, until then, I will uh, see you. You might see me wearing a hoodie because I'm getting a little chilly up here in my room. But uh, yeah, thank you all so much for joining me. Uh, my name is Covey. Thank you. And please stick around for the next stream, which is going to start very shortly within minutes, folks. So thanks again. Peace out from your boy, Cove.